The next step in my project to synthesize DMP is the synthesis of anthranilic acid from thalamide. Anthranilic acid is a useful building block that is used to make artificial grape flavor as an intermediate to numerous compounds like azo dyes, as well as a mold inhibitor in soy sauce. Interestingly enough, the sodium salt of anthranilic acid used to be thought as a vitamin and was named vitamin L1. However, it was later discovered that sodium anthranilate was not necessary for human nutrition. The materials that were used to synthesize anthranilic acid was 21.763 grams of thalamide, 14.5 grams sodium hydroxide, 140 milliliters of 7.5% sodium hypochlorite bleach, and 100 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. The thalamide was synthesized in a previous video of the DMP series. The sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid were found at the hardware store, and the bleach was found as household bleach. The first step in the procedure was to add the sodium hydroxide to a 500 milliliter round bottom flask and dissolve in about 75 milliliters of distilled water while in an ice bath. Next, the 7.5% bleach is slowly added in portions to prevent excess heat that can lead to chlorate formation. Once the bleach is fully added and the solution is chilled about 5 degrees Celsius, all the thalamide is added all at once and allowed to stir until fully dissolved. I spilled some of the thalamide during the addition as I did not use a powder funnel, which will result in a lower yield later on. The flask was then removed from the ice bath and heated to about 80 degrees Celsius. The color of the solution is seen to be much darker, which is due to undesirable oxidation and decomposition byproducts. The overall reaction that's occurring is shown here. The thalamide reacts with sodium hydroxide to form sodium thalamide before the Hoffman rearrangement reaction starts with the sodium hypochlorite. I'll be going through what I believe is the mechanism, so if you're not interested, skip forward to the time shown on the screen. A disclaimer about the mechanism is that it is a proposed mechanism that I came up with, as I could not find an exact mechanism for the Hoffman rearrangement for an imide like thalamide. The reaction starts with the hypochlorite ion chlorinating nitrogen on the sodium thalamide, which jumpstarts the reaction. In the basic additions, a lone pair from the hydroxide ion attacks the carbon of the carbonyl and breaks the bond between the nitrogen and the carbon, forming the carboxylate of the anthranilic acid. Next, the chlorine leaves the nitrogen as a chloride ion before the electrons of the carbon-carbon bond rearrange the group into an isocyanate group. When the reaction is heated, isocyanate intermediate readily reacts with the hydroxide ion to form the structure on the middle far right. The structure then rearranges again to form a carboxylic acid, which is unstable when bound to nitrogen as shown, so the group decomposes to carbon dioxide and deprotonated amine. The deprotonated amine is a very strong base and reacts with the molecule of water to produce the desired product as well as regenerate the hydroxide ion. Now that the mechanism is out of the way, the reaction is taken off the heat after about 30 minutes and cooled down to about 10 degrees Celsius. The hydrochloric acid is then added slowly until the solution reaches a pH of about 3 to 4. At a pH of about 3.5, the anthranilic acid has a mineral solubility in water as the carboxylic acid is protonated and the amine is neutral. The addition of acid is done very slowly as to not pass the desired pH as well as minimize the amount of foam produced from carbon dioxide being released. Once the solution reaches a pH of about 4, the solution is then filtered and washed with water before allowing the dry overnight. The final yield of the reaction is 0 0.508 grams, which correlates to a percent yield of 2.5%. This yield is miserable since this type of reaction is not very high yielding, but this is particularly low for even a typical Hoffman rearrangement. Potential reasons for this include me spilling some of the thalamide when transferring to a flask, but I believe the main reason is I added excess bleach, as well as let the reaction sit for too long, which led to the poor yield. This step now brings the total yield of the project to 2.22% from our starting thalcon hydride, but this yield will only continue to decrease as the next step is to convert anthranilic acid to 2 iodobenzoic acid, which is also not a particularly high yielding reaction, but if you have any ideas how to improve this, leave a comment below. I hope this procedure was useful, and thank you for watching.